Yo, welcome back to Punch Drunk ENT. You got your guys there with you, Mr. Swag and the Waggy. And I'm just Dan. And we back with another reaction video. We're only back if you guys are allow us to do another death battle video. We want to get in trouble. <laughs> Man, f all that. It's time for another death battle. Cloud versus Link. The rematch. Ooh, yes. And I'm one of those people. I got to say, I was one of those people that was highly upset Link won. Eh. I was. You know how I feel about Final Fantasy VII, so... Really, ah, they made Blink a little too strong that day. This man died from bombs. You talking about man that got stabbed up, that got impaled by a guy that can blow up worlds, gets blown up by bombs and lose? <laughs> okay. We gonna find out who gonna win this thing, y'all. But we do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, show us some love. Don't rip our head off for having an opinion on our own platform. So you know who you do. are. Death battle. <laughs> Yes. Hold on, can I get a quick pause real quick? So, I know they're going to be asshole about it because every time, I don't think no rematches allow for the other person to win because this isn't the first rematch. Right. If I'm not mistaken, they did the whole Goku versus Superman and Superman still won again. So, let's see how they dirty do Link. I mean, that's excuse me, the cloud. Cloud. <laughs> You better be correct on your on your if there were old death battles and shit. Yeah. The community. The community. My name ain't just it ain't just Dan for this video. It's just petty. <laughs> there it is. That's a good point. <laughs> I'm just petty. Link, the courageous and determined hero of Hyrule. Loud strafe, sword swinging, spanky haired Sephira Slayer. <laughs> each are powerful warriors in their own right, but in a fight to the death. Spinoff's not could grow on each main shit. Okay. Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out mm. who would win a death battle. It's the only reason why I'm I'm calling this early, Link winning. Because Link has had he's been in more games since the last death battle. They've given him new moves, a new move set, more arsenal. Cloud just got his remake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I give you that. I think Link has developed more. That's all. Hyrule was a hero so great, even a goddess favored him. Destined to wield the Triforce of Courage, he fought for his people until his dying breath. Moreover, he was chosen to be reincarnated through time to continue defending against evil. This hero's name was Link. Link. Since Link's spirit had been reborn well, excuse over Excuse me, over, princess. Oh, we got He's... all his titles: Hero of Hyrule, Hi Hero of Time, Goddess of Night. And shout out to uh, Eagle right there for the hero of Ron. <laughs> he only 4'10". Sheesh, little bastard. He's a little elf type dude. So. Yeah. Highly yeah. likes fishing, cooking, and setting things on fire. He's an arson. Dislikes pots, chickens. Oh, definitely chickens. And Philip CDI. I don't know <laughs> what that reference is from. Yeah. Let that, us know the comments. You know the reference to the Philip CDI. Stu you stupid. You don't know where the Philip CDI <laughs> reference comes from. Links are kind of the same guy. It's a real link to the past, <laughs> which is probably why he's so skilled with tons of different weapons, like his Hylian shield, and of course, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is no ordinary blade. Infused with sacred energy, it is evil's bane incarnate, capable of destroying magical barriers. Bigger on so all his weapons. Bound to boomerang. Monsters. But nothing's more badass than its laser beams and skyward strike. He can even mm. charge it with lightning. You like that, like, like? Link's oh, goodness, what is that? Clubs, spears, even boomerangs. And his talent with a bow is second to none. He has fire, ice, and shock arrows, and his light arrows possess holy magic. Oh. But the ancient arrows instantly... Shout out to our little stream of Breath of the Wild. We kept getting body. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We definitely did. Maybe we'll go back into it, but we definitely was getting bodied in that joint. <laughs> Consign foes to oblivion, appearing to either transport them to another dimension or crush oh. them into nothing. Oh, and I ain't never get that far in Breath of the Wild. In handy. Link's had his fair share of tussles defending the world from foes like Ganon, Vati, and Majora. Link has survived rolling Majora. through lava, and while wearing the Golden Gauntlet or Titan's Mist, <coughs> been strong enough to lift stone weighing well over 10,000 tons. Yeah, it was definitely a skill. To walk on lava, that's, uh, that to me that seems to seem like a gameplay thing. Like they want to kill you for falling in lava. lava. Yep. And while wearing the golden gauntlet you or know. Titan's mitts, been strong enough to lift. So he's gonna pull out golden well gauntlets. Ten thousand tons. In the you force, just Link in the face with lava. Up into copies <laughs> of himself. Talk about multitasking. With the ocarina of time, Link can summon storms, teleport across the land, 
and even travel through if he can do this with hold on, pause if he can do this they better let Kyle cloud you some of his um what's the name it's um what's it called a damn final fantasy what is it called where you can summon your um oh yeah just call him the summons <laughs> okay, and they do have a name for him oh my god not eat the uh materia 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 it's not yeah. like that you guys know what it is all, all right this stuff you got the triforce of courage illuminati if you will <laughs> <laughs> all his different armors his canes his deco mm -hmm. leaves double claw shot fierce deity mass Golden gauntlets and magic cape. So this is gonna just have everything, huh? That's what I said. He's, I think he's developed more than Cloud has over the years. Yeah. That doesn't hold a candle to the Sheikah slate. That thing can set remote bombs, move objects magnetically, and totally stop time for things. And it can summon his master cycle zero. Motorcycles are all well and good, but his <laughs> sailcloth is certainly a more elegant way to move around. So he's we... got a lot of cool stuff, but sometimes he's got to get sneaky about it. While he may be tough, <laughs> all right, so he now he's okay. Solid state. His claw shots are perfect for maneuvering around the environment, and his magic cape can turn him invisible. I can think of a lot of ways that would come in handy. Well, mm -hmm. let's see. Dummy. <laughs> uh, dummy. Ha <laughs> ha, got ya. You know, Link's weapons are very effective against sassy robots. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you can't see me coming now, can ya? Ha! <laughs> hey, why didn't you get hit? Uh, right, the magic cape also turns Link intangible. Huh. Well, there's life. no punch line. Anyway, did you know Link's fast enough to roll away from Beamos lasers? The Which pause. are actual light beams. They burn things. Yes. Triggered volcanic eruptions. Disperse misery mire clouds with 300 megaton blasts. Yeah, this is. Yeah. <laughs> that multiple times in the time frame of lightning strike. Save high rule, low rule, terminal, hood, holodrum, labyrinth, twilight realm. Defeated Gaddy. all these other people while Cloud just defeated one person. <sighs> We go see though, man. Do you remember how how did uh, at least Link won the first one? How exactly what? He how set bombs under him, basically set them up, and he basically slashed them down. All right. Yeah. So. The straight line and the guide says they're lasers. So there. As you can see, Link can dodge this laser at the moment it's fired. Yeah, y'all gonna get some math. Two in the time frame, he would have to be moving two feet in just under two billionths okay. of a second. About a tenth the speed of light. Now that's a reason to say, Excuse me, princess. Because if he didn't, no one would get out of the way in time. But one item Link has isn't simply a mere vehicle to increase his speed or strength. The Triforce of Courage, a holy relic that offers mystic power to its bearer, including protection from transmutation. He's got some other spells too, like for shielding and healing, and his fairy spell lets oh God, him literally that the just turn into too? a fairy. Yeah. Oh, look at him. It's all tiny and he can fly around. Oh, goodness. Get the fly swatter. Link's also been granted magic by great fairies and spirits of past Hylian champions. Mipha's grace can even revive him to full health after death. And if all this wasn't enough for him to just trash his opponents, Link's known to Raw. carry around a uh, snack to help him out. While he usually has a limited supply of magical energy, a single bottle of Chateau Romani gives him unlimited magic for three days. Got that Chateau. That Chateau, that Chateau. Romani. To his masks. These masks not only I'm high, the baby. Form, but give him unique abilities. Like how his Goron mask increases his strength. <laughs> he can even roll so fast he catches fire. But the fierce deity mask is the best. It basically transforms him into a dark god. 10 feet tall and 100% terrifying. With inhuman strength and the impossible helix Whoa. sword. Fierce deity Link could easily overpower Majora. Who pulled the moon into the planet with enough force to destroy a continent. And cause planet okay. destruction. Well. Sounds like he's got everything he needs to defend Hyrule. I mean, if you're chosen by a goddess, you gotta do what she says, right? With God. the boy, in green committed <laughs> to the cause, Dang, man. Hyrule All this can other type shit. Knowing it's defended Why does Elder Space like cat stacks? I'm fucking dead, bitch! Yay. Now my boy on the planet Gaia, run by the Shinar conglomerate, one young man wanted to be a strong protector of others, just like his hero Sephiroth, the elite member of Soldier. This was Cloud Strife.
The troops of Soldier are awesome! They get badass paramilitary weapons and get to cast magic from Materia. Materia! Materia is a byproduct of the life stream, an energy source that runs through the world. Green Materia casts offensive spells, blues for supportive spells. Oh, this Faraga, Blizzaga, Tantaga, Quaga, Biaga, Grag. <laughs> if you played a Final Fantasy game, you know what all this is. Yep, you do. We all do. Bells and yellow has commands, but red's the most powerful. The summons. They can summon giant monsters. And my favorite summon right there. Oh, I'd watch I thought you said Chocobo. I thought you said Chocobo. I have a giant dragon god yeah. as a pet. Chocobo was a beast in a new, in a new game, bro. Among the most yeah. powerful summons in Final Fantasy history. Capable of annihilating a moon, a feat worth over 140 hey, yeah, tons of TNT. Yeah. Which Cloud totally survived after he made it into the soldier program without any problems whatsoever. Nope, none at all. Is this too much foreshadowing? Uh, Cloud's time as a soldier mercenary was, well, it never <laughs> happened. Despite his own memories saying otherwise, Cloud actually failed to join the program at all. All right, bear with me here. See, Cloud had a friend, a first-class soldier named Zack Fair. They went through a bunch of wacky adventures together, then got kidnapped by some weird cult. You see the last one? Oh, oh, let's see. All right, bear with me. Here. Oh, see, not the dress. First -class soldier named Zack Fair. <laughs> not they the went dress. Through a bunch of wacky adventures together, then got kidnapped by some weird cultists who injected them with alien DNA and Mako energy that supercharged them. It's a long story. Time and time again, Zack came to Cloud's rescue. Mm -hmm. Until one day, a rescue would be his final act. But before hey. he fell, he gifted Cloud his big old bring up Advent sword. Children. Hey, what's mm -hmm. a sword between uh. rows? Especially when Zack had been there for Cloud so much in the past. Like how Zack was the one who helped Cloud adjust to the fact that he had never become a member of Soldier. <laughs> or how Cloud hadn't been the one who took the moon exploding either. Uh -huh. That was Zack all along. Cloud's own history had affected him so much that he unintentionally took Zack's as his own. Jeez, sounds like he needs to do some heavy self-reflection. Cloud Damn. struggled with confidence ever since he was rejected from the Soldier program. That, combined with the trauma from being kidnapped, experimented on, and watching his best friend die, fractured his sense of self. You know, Damn. Cloud not being who he said he was reminds me of someone, Wiz. Uh, what are you talking about? You know, like how you faked your identity to avoid paying all those student loans and <laughs> Homeland Damn. Security's still looking for you and... Stop. Uh, hey, did you know, despite how the game works, Cloud can use materia without a weapon? Isn't that neat? <laughs> anyway, realizing He's his a rat on faulty him. sparked Cloud's journey of self-repair. Though he had failed to become part of Soldier, he probably shouldn't have, because he's been in many, many fights just as, if not more impressive than those of Zack's resume. Remember Let's that get awesome it. Remember that dragon? He beat him! Bahamut's super strong, but also fast enough to fly between planets in seconds. Let's no, go! Cloud can even fly too! I guess. More like he's able to jump hundreds of yards up and hang in the sky and lunge around. Anime shit. Yeah, it's basically flight. He can also <laughs> use spirit energy for super attacks called Limit Ultimate Breeze, weapon, like fusion classic sword. Omni Slash. He's also worn several different types of gear over the years, but the one he's consistently kept is a certain ribbon which defends him from the majority of status effects, excluding time manipulation. He's dodged bullets, lasers, and electric attacks. He's casually sliced buildings in half, can cast literal <laughs> How in the hell did Link win the first area, time? And he even beat the handsome Devil Sephiroth. I don't know how Sebi survived being impaled by a sword that's literally wider than he is, but Cloud look, got the look all kinds of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> he comes with Sephiroth's ultimate attack, Supernova. Along the way, Cloud also destroyed Shinra. That's one way to get back at the folks who refused to hire you. Oh, and he got an even cooler sword too. Get rid of that sentimental Buster sword, Buster, because the fusion sword isn't here to play. With the there fusion you go. sword came a new version of Cloud. One who'd worked hard to resolve his personal issues and overcame any foe. Oh, cloud. Hey, hey guys. So all that on top of beating Sephiroth three whole times proves Cloud puts up one hell of a fight. Despite Cloud's frustrating start as a young man with unattainable dreams, he grew we don't up talk about that. Far more yeah, not talk about that one. After saving the world more than once, Cloud Strife deserves the hype. Stay where you belong. In my memories. <laughs> That's what we said about Final Fantasy VII. Oh! All right, the combatants are set. Hey, we they got the better doors now. <laughs> first, if you want to last as long in bed as Link and Cloud do fighting gods, check out Blue Chew.
Now, still going with Link here. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud need this. Stop playing with me, Dead Battle. Y'all going to do a rematch. Get it right. Cloud needs this. All right. I'm just thinking, why would they do. I don't know. I'll talk about it after this. Let's, let's, let's get go. into this. Him and Jess. <laughs> oh, great. This one of the best fights in the remake, actually. Yeah, it was. Great fight. Huh? Will we ever get that sequel? <laughs> Never 23 years? <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems like. Very much convenient. <laughs> the pot. Excuse me, Princess. <laughs> okay, okay. I like the fight better so far than the first time. <laughs> well, you know they got they got budget now, so. <laughs> oh no. I thought he had his ribbon on that stops this from happening. Yeah, I thought he did too. Oh no, he can't stop time manipulation. Uh, he's not wearing it anyway. Scope cloud. Link, did he drag Ball Z down? No, if four links can't beat him, how can one? Navi! Oh, really? They're gonna annoy you to death. <laughs> I see bombs again. Oh, there it is. He was not wearing that shit. <laughs> Navi was still screaming, hey, listen. <laughs> incredibly versatile arsenal available to him given the abilities he had from his various weapons and masks and with stuff like the Sheikah Slate and Ocarina the guy had so much to throw at Cloud that he could have easily gotten overwhelmed even with that against him Cloud could match much of Link's arsenal with both his <laughs> hypothetically and superhuman ability uh, uh, Link could travel back in time and uh, restart the battle but so would Cloud for <laughs> think when I click this uh... win the most often these essentially cancel each other out Link's Master Sword and Triforce of Courage helped him counter some of Cloud's materia. Like, he wasn't getting turned into a toad or anything, but Cloud's Ribbon could do a lot of the same, especially against those fire, ice, and shock arrows. Since both had multiple ways to counter each other's more magic-based moves, and mm -hmm. both had incredible healing spells, 
Yeah. This really came down to their baser abilities. Like there you go. Yeah, and and Cloud is a better fighter. The speed of light, Pretty much. Cloud kept up with Bahamut, who flew between planets in 12 seconds. Since this looks like Neptune, and considering Gaia is a stand-in for Earth, the distance between them would be 4.3 billion kilometers. Ooh. To travel that distance in 12 seconds means Bahamut Fury flew at least 1,200 times the speed of light. So Ooh. while Link was smart, had more experience, and has fought foes faster than him before, Cloud could literally run circles around him without him noticing. Link's strength and power were nothing to scoff at, especially when scaled to Majora pulling the moon into a planet and destroying a continent. That that would take an energy equivalent to over 60 Golly. of TNT. However, Cloud was strong enough to endure similar attacks and return the favor in a devastating way. Like how he survived Zephyroth's supernova attack. Guidebooks confirm that the supernova is a blast that destroys dimensional space. Technically, it occurs in another dimension. There's a lot of hypothetical stuff going on. Yeah, a lot. Of, yeah. A lot. With Cloud standing right there. It sounds crazy, but this means he can literally survive a sun exploding in his face. I mean, it really Sheesh. messed him up, but still, it's a goddamn sun. Link's never had to deal with something of that magnitude before. Sheesh. The hero of Hyrule put up an admirable fight and could certainly win in a few different ways. But Cloud's speed, strength, and powerful limit breaks meant that, more often than not, his victory was assured. Link tried force, but against Cloud, <laughs> he had G no way out. The winner is Cloud Strike. Let's go, man. Fool. Get it right. That's the first half of our 10th anniversary season. Death Battle will... So I'm just curious, like, so why did Link... So they, they f***ed up the first one, pretty much. Is yeah. what they're saying. That's what, I'm, that's what they're saying. That's they, what they, they mean. They didn't do their research the first time. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. Let's go, man. Enjoy that one, man. You get it right. Death Battle, I will watch you again. Yeah. That battle pissed me off when I first for the first time. That, that's why I just went off and I picked Link because I went off for their first thing, thinking that they did do their research. But because if you if, if it was that way and the research came up the first time that okay, Link is superior, that's why he won. Yeah. But apparently, just bullshit the first time. Yeah. <laughs> so because I'm thinking like over the years, yes, Link has learned more stuff. Cloud ain't did shit. But that's the thing. It was like. Cloud was almost, it seemed like they didn't do their research on Final Fantasy. And then when they saw, okay, on the remake, they saw, okay, this guy's really powerful. But it was like, duh. What do you guys think, man? Did they correct it? <laughs> Should it stay the same? <laughs> Are you a Nintendo fanboy? <laughs> hey. Or Final Fantasy wannabe character? Do you have a bunch of belts and whistles tied to your shirt? <laughs> How many <laughs> so zippers do you today. have? He's so petty with it. <laughs> But that's what you gotta be, man. But it's all love, man. We don't care to see. We don't care to see your comments. Well, I'm sorry. We care to see your comments. Yeah. But we don't care about the bullshit. So keep it positive, people. Yeah. And if not, fuck off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we about to get out of here, though. Make sure you click down below for this amazing original video and everything that we got going on from our social links and the merch at geeksandleash.com. Get the merch on your body. Also, check out our YouTube membership. We got some special videos in there. Two tiers. Take a look. Yes, so with all that being said, man, keep on fighting. It's your guy, Ball Wrong. <laughs> Petty Dan. We out, Punch Drunk ENT.